under, get out and get under to fix his little machine. And every minute when he... Morning, Mr. Neville. Oh, morning, Will. How's your rock, cock? Oh, fine. <laughs> Um, what, you, what are we doing down there? I'm just checking my bearings. Well, it's a nice day for it. Oh, well, I hope you get it. No, no. No, I mean a nice day for driving the car. Oh, yeah, I'm just giving it a touch up. <laughs> right, isn't it lovely? Really lovely to see your dad's old banger out again. Well, that's what he called it, is it? We had some good times in that, me and your dad. Yeah, so I've discovered. How do you mean? Hang on, I'll show you. I found this one under one of the seats. <laughs> Well, don't look at me. It's not mine. It's not me dad's, is it? No. Well, whose it was? I don't know. Whoever it was, she was a big girl. You get five pound of potatoes in each cup. <laughs> Nellie Robinson. <laughs> oh, that's who it belonged to, Nellie Robinson. Oh, God. She used to work here about ten years ago, did the books for your dad. Oh, she did a bit more than that, by the look of it. <laughs> oh, she was man-mad. Had a smash... Oh, a lovely figure. Sort of rosy cheeks and big blue eyes. <laughs> what happened to her? Oh, I went to wear all flesh. She didn't die, did she? No, 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 she got married. Well, I wonder how long that brazier's been in there. <laughs> and the rest. What do you mean, the rest? <laughs> Come here, I'll show you in the booth. Oh, I hope I'm old enough to see it. <laughs> Look, pairs of silk stockings, two pairs of knickers, <laughs> and a roller blind. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this? Oh, it's your dad's starting handle. <laughs> He didn't have to wind them up first, did he? <laughs> no, no, only when his battery was flat. No, it's for the car. Morning. Oh, hello, Mark. Ah, look, Dad's old banger. Don't be so personal. <laughs> he meant the car, not you. Oh, yeah. Many's the time me and your dad sat in that back seat, stuck in ourselves. <laughs> no wonder the springs have gone. <laughs> no, I mean picnics on Sunday. We used to go for picnics, you know, and then... <coughs> Would you believe it? After all these years, his stays have turned up. <laughs> That's why he called it his old banger. <laughs> no, your dad was a man's man. Mm, he didn't do so bad with the women, by the look. <laughs> I'll go for the tea. Yeah. I'll bring you out a cup. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Will. Right. Two lumps. Are you talking about me? I'm fed up with people making remarks about my anatomy. You men are all the same. Don't you believe it, dear? <laughs> no? I like your medallion. Thank you, Mr. Neville. It's St. Christopher. <laughs> Lucky old Christopher. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Neville. What is it, love? Are you in a good mood? Mm, well, not particularly, am I? Oh, what a pity. Well, what's the matter? I wanted to ask your favour about tomorrow. What about tomorrow? Can I have it off? Hey? <laughs> I'm going to see my dentist. It's going to take my back too foul. Oh, which dentist are you going to? Oh, Mr. Henry, down the high street. Don't go to him. Why not? He's a union man. One out, all out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mr. get back Neville. to your rolling. <laughs> I don't know how those girls have put any clothes on. <laughs> we have to get under. Get out and get run. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, beep, beep. Oh, hello, Percy. I was just checking the controls. Yes, a menace. What is? Pardon? A menace. Who is? You started it. Oh, yes, a menace. Cars. Cars are a menace. Yes. Give me horses any time. Here. Ah, thank you very much. No, oh, it's not yours. Yours is inside. Oh, you don't have it. Well, I've sugared it, stirred it, and milked it. Would you like to blow on it for me? No, it's fine. I wish Dorothy would hurry up. She's going to teach me to drive. She never said anything to me about that. Oh, she doesn't know yet. I haven't asked her. Oh, you'll be lucky. <laughs> Luck has nothing to do with it. I'm just going to butter her up. A few choice compliments and she'll do anything for me. All it takes is a bit of flannel. What's all this about a bit of flannel? Oh, hello, Dorothy. <laughs> I was just saying we need a bit of flannel to clean Dad's car. Yes. Oh. That's right, Miss Dorothy. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't she look lovely? She always looks lovely, Mr. Neville. Oh, yes, a fair... a vision, you really are. <laughs> Have you been drinking? Well, he must tea. Then you must be after something. What's he up to, Will? Well, he thought that if... Ah, uh, uh, yes, well, if you'll excuse me, I'll be going. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pull the wool over your eyes, can I? No, or the flannel. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. I want you to do me a big favour. What sort of favour? I want to have a bash in Dad's banger. <laughs> Do what? I'm talking about driving the car. 
Oh, you mean you want me to teach you how to drive? Yes. Yeah. Then I could go in for my test. Oh, well, yes. I suppose it would come in useful. Have you ever driven a car before? Well, a long time ago. Oh, well, you should remember something about it. Was it automatic or manual? Pedal. <laughs> <laughs> my auntie bought it for me for Christmas. <laughs> well, what about it? Well, I... Oh, all right, then jump in. I'll give you your first lesson. Oh, good. I thought you were going to do the driving. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What's the matter? I had an awkward moment with the gear lever. <laughs> Great. Now then, what do I do first? Fasten your seatbelt. Oh, yes. Right. That's it. Now, first, you check in your mirror. I look lovely. <laughs> You're supposed to check if there's any traffic about. <laughs> there won't be any traffic about in the yard. Well, there will be when we get out in the road. Come on, do it properly. All right. <laughs> All clear. Right. Now then, here's the key. Right, there we are. That's it. Now, first of all, I'll go through the controls with you. Oh, you don't need to do that. I know where they are. Oh, all right then, clever Dick. Start her up. Right. <laughs> Just checking to see if it worked. <laughs> Try pulling the choke out. Oh, yeah, the choke, yes. Now then. It's the knob. I to... know where it is. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Coming out to rain, I better pull the hood up. Oh, no, that's the windscreen washer. Oh, for heaven's sake, pull that knob there. Right, there's no need to shout. It's a bit stiff. Well, pull it harder. Is it supposed to come out? Now then, just turn that key in the ignition there and pull that knob. Right. I've done it, I've done it! All right, James Hunt, don't get carried away. Can we go up and down the road now? Well, you'll have to drive out of the yard first. Well, where's the driving out button? It's here. It's this knob and it's called the gear lever. Oh, yes, I remember that. <laughs> What do I do with it? Put your right hand on the steering wheel, your left hand on the gear lever, your right foot on the throttle and your left foot on the clutch. Now keep your eye on the road. Now squeeze it very gently. <laughs> I've got nothing left to squeeze it with. I mean with your foot. What do you think I am, a centipede? <laughs> Press that pedal down on the floor. Oh, you mean this part? No, no. Or the one the other side, the clutch. Right, yes. Have you got your foot on it? Oh, I'll do it again. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it, I've done it. Right. <laughs> now then, take your hand off the gear lever, put yes. it on the handbrake. Now right. press down with the handbrake, down. ease up with the clutch, yes. very gently. Yes. Press down with the throttle, and you'll go forward. Right, off we go! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ready. Oh, good. Well, I'll go down to the driving test centre and book me test. Who's coming with me? Me. We tossed up for it and I lost. <laughs> Mr Neville's going now. Oh, Mr Neville, dear, do be careful. I wouldn't like you to have a nasty accident and finish up a horrible mess in the middle of the road. Ooh, she's a cheerful old soul, isn't she? I'm only driving down to the test to book it. Yes, but... Never you mind, Mr Neville. You take me to St Christopher. It'll keep you sane. Mm -hmm. Still warm. <laughs> <laughs> I've got something for you, Mr Neville. What is it? It's a special African thing made of herbs and oils. <laughs> Sounds very potent. <laughs> It'll make you go, go, go. Mm, I'll put it in my tank, tank, tank. <laughs> 
Have you got anything for me? Oh, yes, Mr Neville. A rabbit's foot. Oh, that's nice. The only thing is, it's still attached to the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> you better hang on to that. Well, are you ready? Yes. As ready as I'll ever be. Yeah, Neville, you better have your hat. It'll be cold in that open car. Good luck, Mr Neville. Hope he makes it to the centre. Yeah, keep driving in the middle of the road. No. Good luck then, Mr Neville. Good luck, Mr Neville. Good luck, drivers. Oh, it's not Neville that needs the luck, it's poor old Wilkes. Yes, this is the driving test office. Oh, Mrs Jackson, uh, just a moment. Uh, you were supposed to have been here for your test five minutes ago. Oh, I see. Uh, you can't come for your test because the policeman won't let you. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't your fault. No, you probably didn't see the sign saying no entry. <laughs> No, I don't really think it would do any good if I were to have a word with a nasty policeman. Uh, look, I'll uh, book you in for another test as soon as I can. Yeah, goodbye. Well, I didn't do that too bad, did I? Too bad. We're lucky to be alive. <laughs> look, I, I thought my time had come when you went up that no entry street the wrong way. I had to close my eyes. Well, so did I, but I didn't hit anything. <laughs> Not only because you drove on the pavement. <laughs> Don't you know your road signs? What road sign? The highway code. What highway code? <laughs> Look, you'll never pass the test unless you know the highway code. Look, somebody over here, come over. It's self-evident, this. Look, I'll take you through. What's that one? An aeroplane. Yeah. It means uh, beware of low-flying aircraft. <laughs> that one? Beware of low flying motorbikes. <laughs> no, no, no. It means no mechanical vehicles allowed that way. What about that one then? Watch out for the Indians. <laughs> no, 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 not Indians. It means two way traffic ahead. Oh, what's that? That's Marilyn lying down. <laughs> no, no, no. It means uneven surface. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> we won't get through this. What's that one? Oh, I know that one. What? Cattle crossing. Good. Marvellous. What's that one? Man clearing up after cattle have crossed. <laughs> it's no good, Mr. It's no You really have to learn if you want to pass the test. Well, I'm off. Off? Huh? Yes, you don't need me to help you fill in a form. I'll see you later. I'll be in the Queen's Arms. Hey? <laughs> the pub across the road. <laughs> don't ask a man to drink and drive. Be careful how you cross the road. Look right, look left, look right again. Look right, look left, look right again. Look right, look left, look right again. Be careful how you cross the road. Look right, look left, look right again. Be careful how you cross the road. Look right, look left, look right again. Morning. Morning, sir. Can I help you? Yes, could I ask a question? Oh, by all means, that is what we're here for. Please take a seat. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I rather pride myself on my technical knowledge. Now, what's your question? What day is it? What day is it? <laughs> well, I better explain. You see, according to the notice outside, if it's sat sun or even bank hull, I can park my car there. But only if it's even and not odd. Uh, yes, well, I'm sure you didn't come here to discuss what day it is. Now, how can I help you? I'd like to take a driving test as soon as possible. Well, now, it so happens I've just had a cancellation, so you can take it today if you like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, well, all right, yeah. Oh, sir. Well, now, first of all, we shall need uh, an application form. Oh, I brought one of those with me. Oh, good. Have you filled it in? No, I'm not very good at filling in forms. Something always goes wrong. Oh, nonsense. Nothing simpler than filling in an application for a driving test. <laughs> this is an application for family allowances. <laughs> something always went wrong. I made a mistake in the post office. Oh, not to worry. I have one here. Now, have you got £6.75? It's a lot of money for a form. <laughs> that is for the test. <laughs> Never mind. You can give me a check later. Now, uh, surname? Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe? My sister's been teaching me to drive. <laughs> Christian name? Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy? Yeah. <laughs> I must say, I should hate to be settled with a name like Dorothy. <laughs> so would I. <laughs> Is your name Dorothy? No, that's my sister. <laughs> well, I 
say my sister. She's not really my sister. She's my half-sister. My father married twice. I want the Christian name. Herbert. <laughs> good, good. Just the one Christian name? I think so. Surely you must know how many Christian names you have. Well, I know how many I have. I'm not too sure about my father. I think it was, I think it was just a Herbert. Is your name Herbert? <laughs> Neville. Sutcliffe Neville. Yeah. Neville. They call me that at the orphanage. Address? 32 Lytham Road. <laughs> Blackpool? Yes, yeah, it's the Squire's Gate Orphanage in Blackpool. I'll fill in the name and address later. Type of vehicle? Car. <laughs> what type of car? Banger. I'll fill in the type of car later. Uh, have you ever had a test before? No. No. Not applicable, not applicable, not applicable, thank God. Uh, sign there, will you? Yeah. Neville Sutcliffe. Is that it? Yes, that is all we require. Okay. I had no idea it was so easy to pass a test. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I know you'll think I'm silly, but I thought we had to go out and drive the car. <laughs> <laughs> we do, Mr. Sutcliffe, we do. Can't you take my word for it? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. Now come along and let's see how good you are. Yes, Now, first of all, Mr. Sutcliffe, I'd like you to do something for me. Oh, with pleasure. What is it? Can you read the number of that car over there? Certainly. <laughs> MDG 813. P. I wanted you to read it from over there. Now, can you read the number on that car? But from here. DHF 10J. Good. Where's your car? It's round here. What is this? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That must be Big Nellie's. Big Nellie's? <laughs> Man Mad Nellie she was known as. She got rosy cheeks and big blue eyes. Sounds a right little river. Oh, she was. Do you know, from what I heard, she'd go with anything in trousers. Her name was Nellie Robinson. Robinson? <laughs> Nellie Robinson? Did you know her? Know her? I married her. <laughs> Can we make a start? I think we'd better. Take the next turning left. Next turning left. Right. <laughs> well, don't look at me like that. You said right. Just carry on. Which way do I go? Straight across. Are you sure? Don't argue. Right. <laughs> You're giving me that funny look again. I'm not doing too bad now, am I? In a few moments, I shall ask you to make an emergency stop. All right, do you want to go somewhere? <laughs> when I say stop, put the brakes on. Right. Stop. <laughs> 
down. You'll feel better when you've got your feet up. <laughs> I don't think I shall ever feel better again. Oh, come on. Look on the bright side. It was a lovely day for a drive. <laughs> <laughs> and you caught a fish. <laughs> <laughs> and a cold. <laughs> oh, you bowed <laughs> oh. Now then. <laughs> How did I get on? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sutcliffe, we have been out of this office for something under an hour. In that space of time, you have given me an experience the like of which I have never known in 25 years as a driving examiner. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so I passed then. No, you have not passed. Well, what did I do wrong? It would be easier to ask what you did right. Well, what did I do right? Nothing. <laughs> so, in your opinion, I'm not fit to drive a car? In my opinion, you are not fit to drive a wheelbarrow. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> Sutcliffe, Neville. Not applicable, not applicable. <laughs> Test he's taken. Well, Neville, did you pass? No, he failed me before I'd even started. I did everything right. I made the hand signals. I checked the mirror. I revved up to move off. And then what happened? I went backwards again. <laughs> Straight into another car. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> it was. It was his car. <laughs> How'd you get back here, then? Well, I drove. You're not supposed to drive yourself. That's why I said busy with you. He should have come back with you. Well, he did part the way. And all of a sudden, he leapt out. <laughs> just as I was going through the shopping precinct. Was he hurt? Well, I don't know. I don't know why he jumped out. There were no cars about. Just lots of people running all over the road. <laughs> well, what happened? He landed in an old lady's shopping trolley. <laughs> I should give it up, Mr Neville. Oh, no, I must persevere. A bit more practice and I shall be all right. Now, who's taking me out? Dorothy? No, Neville, never again. Well, uh, sorry, Mr Neville, my, my doctor won't allow it. Marilyn. Oh, no, Mr. Neville. I'm not qualified. Leo? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That means I've had it. No, you haven't, Mr. Neville. I'll give you a hand. Oh, would you, Ma? <laughs> yes, I taught your dad one or two things in this car. I should be able to teach you a few. Right. Right, stand back while I drive out. Oh, do you think you ought to? Oh, so much better than I used to be. Right, we're off. <laughs> It's the last time I have a driving test. I'm going to sell the car and buy a horse. <laughs> in any case, it'll come in handy. I've started growing rhubarb. Thanks ever so much for watching. Hope we'll see you next week. Good night. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.